Hello, this is a picture of a notable stellar phenomenon and I'm just doing the planet that's sort of behind it in the background using the shape of my hand to make it easy for me to do an accurate curve because my hand acts like an axle and you can actually see it's almost like a demonstration that when I don't have my wrist on the paper I have to rely on the whole of my arm to create the ovals correctly so I hover around for a bit and do it above the paper before I let my pencil down onto the paper. I'm creating uh, lots and lots of shapes because I'm trying to work out really complex pattern of spiraling twisted cords and this this is me sort of um, drawing out where I think the lines of the cords go. This is a void heart. This is a void heart that was photographed by the uh, well-known and popular Sally Morgan Moore. And I'm, I'm quite jealous of anyone that's seen a void heart because I haven't. Although I've been in the right place in the galaxy too, which is, I'm, anyway, yes, a bit jealous. So I, I'm drawing one instead, which is fine. <laughs> so I've got all of the colours vaguely as I want them now. And I'm thinking about like putting in the details. This is basically just me doing exactly the same thing again, but on top of the chalk, because obviously when you put chalk on something, it makes it disappear. You'd think I'd have thought about that first. Never mind. I want this to be really bold and solid. But the good thing with using paint is that when I do put chalk on it, you'll still see this really harsh darkness through the chalk. Unlike when I used the pencil before, it doesn't eradicate all trace of <laughs> of what I was trying to draw out. But there you go, I'm putting in the um, the wibbly wobbly bramble lines again, this void heart. The void heart's a, um, a kind of a living biological entity, it's a bramble patch in, in space floating in these gas clouds, these interstellar phenomenal clouds. Phenomenal clouds? And they glow in the middle. Well, most of them, some of them do. Some of them glow anyway. And this one's glowing orange at the centre, pulsating light of of whatever's living inside there, or whatever it's made from. It's just it's an in, in, internal heat source or something. They're huge as well. They're massive. They're much bigger than any ship. Much bigger than that cobra I've sort of planned out. Uh, you see, you see those little diamonds there. They're actually. Uh, very tiny distant octahedral pods and there's the little pods that are sort of embedded in the bramble bushes as well so you've got uh, in the void hearts you've got these pods as well and the pods they they emit gas clouds if you boot them as well and that that can damage your hull slightly a little bit cause some sort of minor caustic whatnot but yeah they they glow in themselves like uh, i don't know um particularly hot coal that's, uh, well, they, they glow in different colours, but, but they have their own little innate light source as well. So they're pretty funky. Quite a lot of this picture I've actually done using my black watercolour pencil because uh, it mi mixes really well with chalk and you can put chalk over it and blend it together. So it acts, because it's so soft, it acts like chalk and you can smudge it into the chalk and create another colour of its own. So putting in all of the glow inside the void heart and now trying to pick out some highlights so that it, uh, it at least looks a little bit like plant because at the surface of the actual tendrils on this void heart they're quite they're quite ridged like uh, like the bark on a plant and, and I didn't really think I'd managed to show that so I'm trying to pick out little bits of that with the white and also put a little bit of a highlight onto some of those spines the uh, particularly pointy, evil-looking spines. So uh, there's an awful lot of stars in this picture, and I start putting in stars, and that takes forever, because I think I'm fairly certain this is fairly near the centre of the galaxy that Sally was when she, she took this picture. She's at Shrogai KK-A D983, apparently, which I guess I could look up on EDSM, to be fair, but I haven't. Anyway, so it looks it looks fairly dense, the star the star density there that you can see behind. And I, I particularly enjoyed the way that uh, with these stars, they sort of blend in at the bottom almost. Because you, ca you can't really see. I was I chickened out, but in the picture you can barely tell where the planet stops and the sky starts. Sky. 
and the galaxy starts but I, I had to put a little bit of a line in because I'm a wuss that's not what it looked like on the actual screenshot you just couldn't tell and I, I think that was that was that was really lovely and subtle which I have not shown here I have kind of left the Cobra a little bit jaunty to be honest I've not really tried very hard with the Cobra it's quite perky though I don't mind it too much but that's the pink wafer actually it's the only pink thing in the picture 